Hello, friends. I'm stuck at home with COVID. Unfortunately, after two plus years of avoiding it, it, I now tested positive. I'm the only one in the family, but I have mild symptoms, very tired, uh, chest congestion, um, headache. I'm on day like two and a half. Two nights ago after making dinner, I just felt really, really tired and started getting a sore throat. So I laid down, tested positive the next morning when I tested. And so just been quarantined in my room. I feel gross right now. So I'm going to go take a shower, get myself feeling a little bit better. And I'll just talk to you guys through the next couple days. I do have some Amazon packages that uh, arrived. I think I could share those with you guys. I don't know what else to film while I'm hanging out here in my bedroom. So true life. All right. Here's my little at home test. It has the two lines. And then here's Mark's test. One line COVID free. I miss him. He slips out on the couch. I miss hanging out with him. <laughs> But this one has given me lots of cuddles. I think she knows something's up and has just spent many hours in bed here with me. The one thing that I've been able to do though in bursts of energy is I have been able to edit some videos. So thankfully I had some footage backed up that I could work on. So that's one good thing about not being on top of things. All right, friends, showered did my hair a little tiny bit put on like my two minute makeup version and um yes if you hear something in the background I have the air purifier going in here because when you're stuck in your own room for a couple days it's just nice to keep I don't know it's it's doing its job of hopefully keeping this room the air quality better while I'm stuck in here um, anyways, I'm exhausted after, uh, taking a shower and getting ready. So I'm going to rest for a little while and then I'm going to come back and chat with you and maybe show you some packages I've received lately just for something to do. We're getting some wind today. I'm watching the snow fall off these trees. If you see out there, the boys are building a snow cave. They Mark took the snowblower and blowed it all into a hole and now it's hardening up so that they can build a cave. You can see they have a little door over there. He's so fun. Mark's so fun. He's such a good boy dad. <laughs> he does so well with the boys. I think it's warming up out there too. Mark said it's supposed to get 40 this weekend, which always feels really weird in winter time. So. All right, Mark is taking good care of me, you guys. He just made me a sandwich. I am actually working on our website because back at Black Friday, I purchased website-y stuff and <laughs> haven't had a chance to look at it yet, so I'm setting it up. I don't know when it'll be live, but and I'm not even sure what it's for, but I had this feeling like I should um, get our website put together. I have built two websites before this, so it's not like I'm... It's, it's something that I... And familiar with it's been a while since I've done anything on my other website the ham um, that was for organizing decorating and throwing parties but I that COVID kind of crashed that for me I have not done any sort of home projects really ever since COVID we did one project at the beginning of COVID building our lockers and then since that it's just been on survival mode anyway so this is the this Alaska life family Dot com. If you go there, there's nothing there at this point, but I think it'll be good for recipes and then for anything in the future that we want to put out there in the world. So, working on that. All right, we're continuing this quarantine. Taking a bath. Luna flits in and out to visit me. Hello, oh, sweetheart. Yes. There's a what? There's a car in a ditch? Oh my goodness. 
This is nuts, you guys. Woo! I'm gonna go get a sled. Right here skating. It's very smooth, actually. Because they graded, they graded it so they pushed all the snow off of it and there was ice. And then it rained and now there's a smooth layer of ice. Not like ruts from their tires. So <laughs> it's really smooth and you can skate really well. <coughs> it's really warm out here. Like I'm in a sweatshirt. I have no glove, I have just pants on, and it's warm. And I have a heated, I have kind of like a insulated helmet, so it is, uh, my head's pretty hot. As you can see, we've been skating a, skating a bit, but it's a fun. But, but I would call someone insane to be driving more than five to 10 miles an hour on this, because if you just put your hand onto it, it just glides, it's just like so slick. And I'm going on my skates, or more so my, my mom's skates. Hey, here, here they come. <laughs> the sled just slides. been raining. Oh, good thing we got the helmet. Okay, get ready for the turn, Everett. Our first place. Yeah. So uh, we just found some neighborhood kids and got a pickup game of hockey going here. Well, this was an unexpected treat. We've been out here for two and a half, almost three hours. Time to go have some lunch. And uh, it was way more fun than I thought. Yeah, I know how to act good at that. Yep. Doing it. Wes and I have been practicing our shots back and forth, and he improved a lot. We don't play hockey that much as a family, so this has been fun. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's get some lunch. Hello friends, I'm on day about five of quarantining in my bedroom. Um, yeah, I am tired of being in here, but I'm trying to keep my family from getting this COVID. So I'm doing my best to just keep my distance. Um, but I do have some packages here, so I thought that it would be fun to open some packages. So I'm gonna set up the camera here and we'll look at what's come in the mail because that's something we can do. All right, first off, I got this package from, oh, the card is missing. I read the card, it was so sweet. It says C. Compton in Nevada, Missouri. She saw our video when I went to Walmart the other day 
and I was looking at the Alufas and she made us one, which is so awesome. Everett is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, Everett is going to be over the moon about this. So thank you so much. That was so kind of you. This is so much nicer than those plastic nasty ones. So I'm excited to try that out. And like I said, I read the card. It was very sweet, but I don't have it here with me. It got lost. Oh, maybe it's right here. Ah, I found it. I was watching your Walmart video over the weekend and saw that you wanted a bath poof. So I thought I'd send you out to you. I hope you enjoy it half as much as I enjoy your videos. Thank you for enriching so many lives. Well, thank you so much. This is very sweet. We did get another Christmas card um, from Calgary, Alberta, the Brown family. Thank you for adding to our collection of Christmas cards. We appreciate it so much. We just love the connection that it's given us with you guys. The next one, I did not order this. Nobody told me it was coming. Um, I think they just sent it. So thank you. It's called Raw Rev. They are plant-based protein bars. And I've eaten a few of them. They're really good. 14 grams of fiber, 12 grams of protein, 4 grams of sugar. Pretty cool. Five-star reviews. I just, they're really good. So it says, try a treat on us, raw and rev. Never heard of this company, but let me read you some of the flavors. Creamy peanut butter and sea salt. I had that one. Really good. Double chocolate brownie batter. Have not tried that one. Uh, peanut butter, dark chocolate, and sea salt. I did try this one. Now they are protein bars. They're not like super sweet, but they don't have, um, they're vegan, GMO, gluten free. Um, so this one had little like pockets of like soft chocolate in it. It was really good. So thank you. Raw Rev. I'll put a link down in the description to their website if you're interested and they have a coupon code. I'll put that in there too. Okay. The next thing is things that I've ordered from Amazon that have come. Um, the first one is True Lime. These are the little packets of lime, crystallized lime juice. It also comes in lemon. It comes in actually a lot of other flavors. I think there's like orange and grapefruit and stuff. I just like the lime and lemon. I use it in cooking, but I also love it in drinks or just in water. Um, anywhere you'd squeeze a lime or lemon, they're good. So good that I ordered 500 packets because I was annoyed that Costco doesn't carry it anymore. Um, yummy, yummy, yummy. I did see after I ordered this that you can buy it in like a shaker bottle. I would like that too. These are convenient for taking in your bag, but um, I wouldn't mind just having it in a um, like a bigger package. Um, I signed up for several years ago a cookie decorating class. I am good at baking. I am good at making food that tastes good, but when it comes to decorating a cake or cookies, I'm terrible. And I bought this class years ago, never looked at it, decided I was going to order all the stuff for it to try for Valentine's Day. We'll see if I get around to it now. This COVID, you know, kind of threw a wrench in things, but um, some of the things have started coming. And I actually sat and watched the whole class yesterday. Seems pretty doable. Um, so I got this cool rolling pin where you can measure it out and make sure you your dough is even all the way through so that's kind of cool and each you choose which one which color you want they screw off so that you can choose the depth of the the dough that you want so hopefully i'll have the energy here in the next couple days to try baking some cookies and decorating them and it might be a disaster but it might be really fun we'll see she made it look so easy and clean. Like her area was so clean while she was doing it. I am so messy in the kitchen. I'm sure it'll be a disaster. So to go along with that, I got some new food coloring. So Maricolor food coloring from Amazon. And oh, I ordered this 
in my organizing, New Year's organizing, um, this is a photo keeper. Now, I do not need it for photos, but I have seen people use it to organize their cords. All the cords we have laying around, I'm hoping to be able to take them and put the extra cords in this little keeper and then put a label on it so that when we need certain cords, we can find them. So that is why I ordered this. We'll see how it goes. I've also seen people get a smaller version of this and keep band-aids and things in their car and medicines and things like that. So those are my Amazon things that have come recently. Better get better so I can bake some cookies, I guess. I committed myself to it at this point. I ordered all the stuff. Mm-hmm. 